Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kiltab of Giselle. If you are joining me for the first time, then thank you so much for joining. I really hope you in enjoy my content and please do give me some feedback. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you how to stop your makeup looking cakey. I know that this is something that everyone would have gone through at some point, um, especially when you're playing around with makeup. And I just thought it might be really, um, just might be really good to share with you guys how I tend to stop my makeup looking cakey and what little key things that I've learned um, with my makeup journey. So I really hope you guys enjoy it and please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and yeah, let's get straight into it. So guys, the first thing that you want to make sure you do for your skin before applying makeup is to make sure you hydrate. Hydration is key to stop you making looking cakey, dry and flaky. We wanna make sure we've got a nice canvas to start off with. So I like to go in with my um, trusted and most favorite moisturizer that I love to use, which is the Avene, and this is the Aqua um, gel hydrating moisturizer. I find that it doesn't clog up my pores and also it just glides nicely and smoothly So make sure to hydrate because that is super super important. The next step is your foundation I always think that using a light to medium coverage and foundation is better because it's not going to be too thick it's not going to be too heavy on your skin and also when I apply my foundation I like to just use about three pumps three pumps is the max of what I will put on my skin um, I just feel like if you put too much pumps on your skin your you know your makeup can just start looking very cakey a little bit overdone and I just think for daily basis you don't need to be having a full coverage because yeah it just really um wrecks your skin and it doesn't look to be honest very nice as well um so i just like to go in with my um, sponge i really really love blending it out with my sponge because it just blends out nicely seamlessly and there's no creases left it just blends everything right into the skin um, so yeah, that's the next step that you want to do. I also forgot to mention that the foundation that I am using is the Light Reflecting Foundation from NARS. I like um, foundations that are hydrating and not too drying because I feel like the more you use matte foundations that are drying, the more your skin can um, become cakey. Um, if you guys just look and see the finish of this foundation, it is just really nice. It's breathable, it's light. Um, it's covered, you know, my imperfections, but as well, it looks like I just have skin on top of skin, if that makes sense. It doesn't look like I've got a thick layer of foundation. Um, so you really want to make sure um, the foundation that you go for, it is a little bit hydrating, maybe not too much, but a little bit because it just looks really nice to look at. And like I said, it's not too thick. Also, I wanted to mention that I tend to gravitate nowadays more so to cream um, sort of products because I find that they don't cake up and give you that dry um, feeling and that dry look. So I like to go in with some cream products. For my concealers, this is what I go in with. And when I apply my concealers nowadays, um, I try and just use less concealer because I find that the days when I do go heavy on my concealers, it just starts to look too much. 
and it builds that cakey um, look especially when you apply powder it just doesn't settle very nicely so this is the amount of concealer coverage that I like to go in with just like that and then on the areas where I highlight and then I do the same thing with my contour I don't apply you know you know huge lines and huge like amount of products on my skin because you just don't need that um, a little goes a long way and a little looks better than having too much products on your face And then once you've blended out all of your concealers, I like to go in with my powder. And when I apply my powder nowadays, I don't allow it to sit and bake for like for ages and ages because I found that doing that as well adds um, the cakeness and just makes your skin look really dry and even actually makes you look a bit older. Um, so what I like to do is I just apply the powder onto the areas that I'm setting my makeup as usual like that by the way guys if you want to see how this powder is what this powder is all about I've got a link that I will put um, at the end of this video I did a review on the Laura Mercier powder in case you might be interested in buying it so what I just do is pop the powder everywhere that I'm setting. I know it looks a bit crazy, but it will all come together. And then I just allow it to sit for a minute and then I just brush it off my face and you know. So guys, I just allow the powder to sit on my face for a minute and then I just brush it into the skin and just brush it out basically. And I just find that not leaving the powder sitting on your face for ages, that is just going to help to not give you that cakey, dried, flaky effect because I just don't like my makeup to look like that anymore. Um, yeah. So I'm just grabbing a fluffy brush and then I just blend it out in this buffing motion then guys last but not least the most important part to all these steps is to make sure you spray your makeup with some fixing spray i like to use the glow fix um, and this just helps to remove any sort of like harsh maybe powder um, and to just bring back the moisture into your skin so i'm just going to spritz my face with my makeup spray like so so guys this is the finished look as you can see it looks light it looks airy yes i do have makeup on but it doesn't look cakey it just looks like a nice finish and i think that for daily um you know regular days and just daily basis you don't need to be putting makeup that is thick i think using less product makes your makeup looks much more nicer than going in with too much full coverage um so yeah these are just the tips that i wanted to share with you i hope that you guys found them useful do give me your feedback um in the comment section below because i always appreciate your feedback and also give it a thumbs up if this is the type of content that you'd like me to do um more on and to cover on um but yeah i really hope you enjoyed it all the products that i've used i'm going to put them in the description box below so do make sure to check it out and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye dolls mm -hmm. bye